Hi, I'm Parker Longyear, and today I'm going to talk about how I went from having just a couple lighters to being a moderator on a lighter collecting forum. I'm first going to talk about the first ones I had, and then how I got a spark which just ignited a fire, no pun intended, to me having more and more lighters and more on the way. My first lighter was a just a regular lighter from the store. It's broken because it's had a ton of use. It's just a butane torch lighter. makes a little jet flame that is really hot. The next lighter I got was given to me by one of my friends years after I got this one. And he basically gave it to me because he didn't want it anymore, so I just took it. And it, uh, it's another butane torch lighter that has two flames, and it, uh, these lasted me for a while. And I then started looking online at vintage lighters just to see what were different lighters looking like. And I p looked at a posting on Craigslist, and a person was advertising a bunch of vintage lighters. So I went and met up with a guy and got all of these lighters, ones from the 50s and mid 60s to like the 80s, ones from different places like Las Vegas, novelty ones that look like a little fire hydrant. Some were working, some weren't. So I had to fix some or use some for parts. And that really lit a spark that just made me want to have more lighters because I found out, oh, this is cool because it's really old, but it's such a, it looks nice and I love how it looks, so I'd love to have more of those. I started looking online and I found that there's tons, you can get cheap lighters that are still very good working, like ones that open up like that, that work on butane. You can get ones that have multiple flames that you can control. Ones that are striker lighters, which are filled with regular lighter fluid. And you take them and you light it like a match. The good thing about these is that the fuel will not run out. It won't evaporate like it will on something like this. This you have to keep putting fuel in because there's no airtight seal. So then I started looking around more and looking at antique shops, trying to find more old ones, more unique, like this one, which had which is gold plated, it has a hand carved cameo in it, and it's from the nineteen sixties. This one is made in England. It also works on butane. And it's by Ronson, which is a very famous lighter brand. And then I got a little tiny lighter, which might even be hard to see. And I bought this little tiny one alongside of this little gun one. Both of them were about $5 each. And Right now, when I look at the look online, there's ones going for $25 each of both of those. I also got this one. It's called the Crown Harp, and it came from Japan. Um, I think I read online it's around in the 60s, I think, they came out. Well, after I got all that, I kept looking and kept looking. And I went to thrift stores, got novelty ones like little race car helmets and I was going to give this a one away until I found out it didn't work and that's probably why I was at a thrift store but I fixed it but I don't like to keep fuel in it because I don't use it that often but then I found a really good find one day when I went to a flea market I bought this lighter for twenty dollars the only thing that was wrong with it is it needed batteries so I bought it I bought this lighter for $20. If I had the batteries in it, 
it's worth at least 60 but in the condition it's in, it's worth at least between 80 90 dollars. When I bought this lighter, I didn't know what size battery to buy. So I was searching online, there was all these places saying, well, you need these light, these batteries, but they're out, they don't make them anymore. Kept looking, kept looking, and I found this forum for lighters. It had just started maybe two weeks before I had started looking for lighters online, or for the batteries online. And I looked around there, and there was only three or four members on there. Well, I started posting pictures of one lighter, then I posted another lighter. I'd go and buy a lighter, post that on there, and just keep putting lighters on there and chatting with other people, talking about lighters, till the owner of the website sent me a message saying, would you like to be a moderator of the website? I said, sure, that'd be great. He set me up as a moderator, so I go around on YouTube, go to different pages where people are telling about interest of their lighters, and I tell them, hey, you should check out the forum. And since I joined, I think there have been around six or seven members, and that's in less than three weeks, which I think is a pretty good, pretty good um, addition. So all in all, when I started out with two little lighters that probably cost maybe a couple dollars each, and progressed all the way up from different eras to different types of novelty and butane and fuel lighters up to a really high class lighter, then I uh, found my way to the forums and I've been recruiting more and more members there. Thanks.